One of the challenges that lots of our clients have is that they have applications all over the place. They all look a little bit different. Their servers are all a little bit different. One thing that the Open Hybrid Cloud really does for them is it allows them to streamline that infrastructure. With the Open Hybrid Cloud, now you provide your development teams the ability to start building the applications without any roadblocks in place. And it also gives them the capabilities to sort of manage their environments without much operational assistance. People can start delivering and building products, which is what the core mission for any company is. Those roadblocks are actually one of the, the limitations between an enterprise being productive at 10% capacity versus trying to get to 30, 40, 50 and beyond. The workflow traditionally is a developer commits code. The code is app applied to the repository. The build is built and then deployed. All of that orchestration is natively handled by OpenShift. And that's the true power of the OpenShift platform and the product itself. Say for example, you need to deploy an application. In a traditional model and some legacy models, you actually have to check in the code, then someone needs to go and build it, someone then needs to go and deploy it manually on the server, and then someone needs from the operations team that needs to take it from a development environment all the way to production. And there's a lot of manual steps in the way from a human element that can delay the process. Say for example, someone's out on vacation, guess what, you're now waiting for the next two to three days until they come back. Now with the cloud, especially the open hybrid cloud, you can you know, leverage your internal resources, bring them up as you need to, and then bring them down as you need to. And it's all automated, it's all managed uh, in a very cohesive manner. It's really amazing when you look at these big Fortune 500 companies, there are bottlenecks all over the place in the process of building out infrastructure that don't always make sense. By automating a lot of the back end, it not only creates efficiencies by removing bottlenecks, but it also allows our customers to focus on their business problems instead of keeping infrastructure stood up. The great thing about Red Hat is that we come with a consolidated approach to all of this, and we can give you a top to bottom solution. You can actually build out your whole cloud while also maintaining openness, which means that you can see exactly what's going on, and a hybrid mindset so that you can leverage other technology vendors that are going to fit into those APIs. The upshot is that now your development teams can start building the applications quicker. They also have a lot of capabilities to sort of manage the environments that are non-production. They can start deploying code to that in a, in a very quick manner and they don't have to wait on the operations person to you know, do that work. As a developer, your focus is on iterating highly fast and you should always be developing that feature branch and working towards getting that feature branch cut for a release. And that automation is part of the product itself, but it's implicitly there. You have to know and identify, as a consultant, what the workflow is and streamline it inside of the product itself.